And congratulations to you, Mr. President, on your anniversary. I'm sure this was the mo most romantic place you could imagine <laughs> here, here with me. So I... <laughs> Congratulations. First, education. I agree. Education is key. The second area, taxation. We agree. We ought to bring the tax rates down, and I do. The third area, energy. Energy is critical, and the president pointed out correctly. Uh, on energy, Governor Romney and I, we both agree that we've got to uh, boost American energy production. Now, I, I like green energy as well. Now, uh, Governor Romney and I do share a, a deep interest in encouraging small business growth. When it comes to corporate taxes, Governor Romney has said he wants to, in a revenue-neutral way, uh, close loopholes, deductions, uh, but that thereby bring down uh, the corporate rate. Well, I want to do the same thing. And the question is this, what are the differences between the two of you? And the answer is neither the president nor I are proposing any changes. Uh, what I support is no change, but people make their own choice. So if you're 60 or around 60 or older, you don't need to listen any further. But, uh, do you see a major difference between the two of you on Social Security? Uh, you know, I suspect that on Social Security, uh, we've got a somewhat similar position. Social Security is uh, structurally sound. You have to have regulations so that you can have an economy work. Every free economy has good regulation. So we've got some agreement that a marketplace to work has to have some regulation. Look, we have to have regulation on Wall Street. Yeah. That, that's why I'd have regulation. His trickle-down approach, he's, as he said, yours is. But let's come back to something the President and I agree on, which is the, the key task we have in health care. The, the irony is that uh, we've seen this model work really well in Massachusetts. You obviously have studied up on, on my plan. In fact, I do have a plan that deals with people with pre-existing conditions. That's part of my health care plan. And what we did in Massachusetts is a model for the nation, is a model for the nation. The president has a view very similar to uh, Governor Romney did a good thing working with Democrats in the state to set up what is essentially the identical model, essentially the identical model. I like the way we did it in Massachusetts. I like the fact that in my state we had Republicans and Democrats come together and work together. We work together. What I do is the same way that Tip O'Neill and Ronald Reagan worked together some years ago. When Ronald Reagan ran for office, he laid out the principles that he was going to foster. He said he was going to broaden the base. You've said the same thing. You're going to simplify the tax code, broaden the base. Those are my principles. Uh, as Abraham Lincoln understood, there are also some things we do better together. And that meant I figured out from day one I had to get along. Uh, we've got a program called Race to the Top. And I, and I agree with some ideas he's put forward on Race to the Top. I agree with it. And we have to work on a collaborative basis. One of the things I suspect Governor Romney and I probably agree on is getting businesses to work with community colleges so that they're setting up their mm -hmm. training programs. Do you agree, uh, Governor? Let, let, oh, let me sure. just finish oh, the yeah. point. Oh, yeah. uh, it's, uh, but, uh, look, my philosophy has been I will take ideas from anybody, Democrat or Republican. And could not care less if, if it's a Republican or a Democrat, because there's common ground. Four years ago, uh, I said that I'm not a perfect man and I wouldn't be a perfect president. And that's probably a promise that Governor Romney thinks I've kept. I've kept that promise. And if you'll vote for me, uh, then I promise I'll fight just as hard in a second term.